anyone that's ever played this game for any length of time and played it reasonably well or very well has those days when you get out there and nothing seems to work tee shots are going left and right you can't seem to get the face on the the irons on the make solid contact the ball is not going anywhere as near where you're aiming it and quite frankly you throw up your hands and discuss you say I don't know where to begin to try to fix this thing well you can fix it the, the problem is is that you can't fix it by making full swing so we have to take it down to it's one of its smallest components so we start with our address position remember the definition of the golf swing it's a circle played around a steady post on an inclined plane correct okay so we go back to that original address position, arm straight, hand slightly forward at the head, weight is centered, probably 55% on your left side. Now I'm going to take, the, take from this position, which is called your P1 position or address position, I'm going to go from here into P2. P2 position would be the start of the shoulder turn, left shoulder turns down slightly until the club is parallel to the ground parallel to the ground you'll notice the toe is slightly forward which is really square where it started right here shaft looks like it's right along your toe lines toe line and then from there once you're in this position we simply let ourselves rotate until that head comes back to the ball make solid contact and you don't hit it very far make that very small swing make a nice solid contact, start hitting those shots from what's called P2 to where the shaft is parallel on the other side of the swing. Your weight is still centered, your shoulders are turning and you're making your rotation. Once you have that down and you hit a bunch of those shots, you start to get your confidence back a little bit. Next step, take it back from P2, you go to P3. P3 is left forearm is parallel to the ground. Your wrists are cocked, start down slowly you go right through p2 and don't forget you just rehearsed p2 so you got that one down pretty good right so you go from p3 through p2 through impact to the other side now you now the ball goes a little bit further so you start to get your confidence back from p3 then once you start to hit it solidly from p3 all you have to do at that point turn your shoulders a little bit more you get to p4 which is full backswing left shoulder down hip turn, weight still centered, wrist cock, bring it back down, you get back down through P2, rotate to the other side of the ball, you start to hit the ball more solidly. But you have to take it in small pieces, get your confidence back, get your muscle memory working properly, and then start to build a little bit longer and longer. That'll help.